Hello Pisces, thank you for being here with me. It is Wednesday, 2.17 a.m. here in Texas, October 26, 2022. And I want to give a shout out to Pisces Studio, Miss Lisa over there. I received your package today and all of the beautiful tarot cards. Thank you so much. And if you guys are interested in um, spiritual um jewelry um candles um she has like a huge selection of salt all kinds of stuff over there spiritual stuff she has a channel here on youtube and um in the description box you can click into her store she makes beautiful jewelry that's very, very well made. Alright, Pisces, let's get into your reading and see what messages spirits have for you. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. See what your messages are whenever you're viewing this reading is when you're meant to receive these Pisces these messages Pisces so if you see a title that um, gets your interest on one of my videos it more than likely will have messages in there for you spirits what does Pisces need to know we have the ten of cups that's a great first card today, you guys. That's complete happiness. The Nine of Cups. Feeling content. Safe, comfortable. The King of Cups. Is your water sign energy. The Seven of Wands. The Nine of Swords. Judgment, Libra energy with justice. All right, and then we have the death card, Scorpio, and the three of swords. Why is the ten of cups here, spirits? Let's see what's going on here, Pisces. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. The Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Pisces, I feel like you're very spiritual and you do have um, your spirit guides are around you, your angels. I feel like you have a like a particular strong energy here of a teacher, a spirit guide that is with you that has all the love for you and with the ace of cups and they have their hands out stretched willing to give you whatever information you need. Let's see what's going on. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Queen of Swords. The King of Wands. And the Page of Swords. There's someone here that, that is watching you, Pisces. I'm not sure if you, you're aware of it or not. And I feel like you're sitting in a very comfortable position here with the Nine of Cups energy. Like you, you feel comfortable at home. You feel safe being in your own home. 
and you're kind of skeptical of people. We have the Queen of Swords facing the King of Wands. And so, male or female, you are the Queen of Swords here, Pisces. And um, there's someone here that watches you. But you're very skeptical about who you're going to put it, allow into this comfortable zone that you have. But this person watches you. Why is the Page of Swords here? The star. This is Aquarius energy. I'm feeling like Pisces, um, whoever's watching you, they are in a position here where they are thinking um, that they that something has to be accepted for what it is and so they're pouring out both of these cups here and leaving leaving a fate up to the universe because i feel like this person has a lot of fire a lot of attraction for you but this person sees you as the queen of swords this person knows that <clears throat> That you're not one to play with here. And so I'm seeing someone here leaving themselves <clears throat> to luck, really. You know, when it comes to you, they are thinking about you, they're watching you, they're attracted to you. But <clears throat> this person's pouring out both cups and just leaving it up to the universe here why is the king of cups here they feel like it's out of their hands basically this connection and i don't know if this is someone that you know or not we'll see why is the king of cups here i feel like it is i feel like this is someone that you um have had to heal with yourself and you kind of got to a point where you said it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about this but heal and move on from this painful tower moment because you've reached the star when it comes to this person. So this person puts you through the tower. This person made you feel like your whole world was falling apart, falling down. I feel like this is someone that you have a lot of love for, Pisces. This may be a Capricorn with the devil showing up here. There's something within this connection that leaves you feeling emptiness, though, and distance. Even though you love this person... When you're with this person, you feel a resistance and a distance from them. Whoever this is, they're wanting to come back from what I can see right now. Why is the Three of Cups here? The Empress. The Five of Swords. They're feeling defeated. This may be a Taurus that you're dealing with. Two fives. Things have changed. This person feels sad. They feel defeated. They're looking over at you here. You are an empress energy. And so I'm seeing you here, Pisces, where you know you're sitting back, you're comfortable. This person knows that. And um this person knows that you're not going to bow down to them. Because the Empress is someone here who's comfortable and um, is not a pushover, but someone who 
lets things happen. Like um, you sit back and you watch what's going to happen from your works and your growth. And there is a lot of growth here and you're in a position now where you can sit back and watch it grow. But this person was very cold to you with the Five of Swords and the Devil. It's pretty rough energy. This person's broke now. Why is the Seven of Wands here? We have Strength, Leo Energy. The Four of Pentacles. The Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is knows that you're resistant to them, Pisces, right now with the Seven of Wands. And they know you are on higher ground. You're above all of these mountains. Wands, you're above what this person has put you through. I feel like you have released this, left it to the universe because you knew there, you know, this was a wish of yours, but I feel like you've gone past the point of where this is not a wish anymore. This is something that you have accepted. There's great acceptance here. And so. This person is ha having to have a great deal of strength to hold back or to even communicate with you, Pisces, because they're trying to hand the Ace of Pentacles to the Magician. You're the Magician. You already have the Ace of Pentacles right there. So you're perfectly fine on your own. You don't need anyone. And this person they want to come back into your life again but man it's so hard for them to do this because you are the magician you are the empress I mean your energy is way way above this person's level the nine of swords is in the center of your reading here and I'm not sure if that's you or this other person why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm feeling like it's them, by the way the reading's going. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Seven of Cups. The Hangman. That Hangman is Pisces energy, and this person is up in their head. about sending you messages big time. They keep thinking about why did I do this? It's keeping them up late at night. It's terrible. It's a nightmare. This person, when you split from this person, you became the empress. And so there's a lot of growth around you, Pisces, and you're sitting back comfortable in your environment right now. And this person showing up as the devil who has some type of an addiction or something. This could be someone that you were married to with the Hierophant showing up, but it's a committed relationship here. <clears throat> is broke. They, they went down, you went up. And now they keep thinking about you. But they're not taking any action here. They're not doing anything. They're just thinking about how... Um, well, they're, they're looking at it from a different perspective now than what they did in the past. And how they burned their bridges with you. Because this is someone who seriously burnt the bridges when they left. And they, they know that. And so this is what they're up in their head about. It's sending you messages. 
And then we have judgment. Why is judgment here? The Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to raise this connection from the dead. These people are coming out of coffins. The universe is bringing this back around again. I'm not sure why yet. But this person energetically all around you, they want to work. They want to give to you. They want to work on this. They're focusing um, and thinking about you a lot. Repeated thoughts about you, Pisces. And wanting to put the work in with you. Wanting this growth with you. And then we have Justice Libra energy. Why is Justice here? The scales are being balanced by the universe, Pisces. Someone in your past caused you a lot of pain. They could have been a narcissistic energy with the devil and the five of swords. I don't see a nice person up there in the past. They put you through it. And I feel like you stayed committed. You continued to love this person. You were very patient with them. And um, there's a point here where um, they put that last straw on your back that broke the camel's back. Why is justice here? This person's watching you. More than likely, this person lives at a distance from you, Pisces. But see, they admire you. They look up to you. They're watching you. You could do something where you're in the public eye. Why the Seven of Swords? Okay, so that's you, Pisces. Um, the High Priestess is Pis Pisces energy. I feel like, Pisces, you do look back at the past. Deep inside of you, you think about this person, too. And... Um, your intuition is telling you here and leading you to pick up your thoughts and move on. And I feel like you're you're sitting here next to someone that is at a distance from you and you feel them, Page of Cups, wanting to rebuild, wanting to restart this connection again with you. But then we have death. Okay, so we have the moon. Something here you're not aware of. You could be dealing with a cancer. Or a Virgo. A hermit is here. And the two of cups. Yeah, this person is the wounded warrior. Um, this is someone who's not experiencing very much good in their life right now, Pisces. And you don't see them. Your intuition is feels them, though, I feel like. Because this is a soul connection. And um, this person wants to come to the hermit which is you and you don't see it with the moon card there you your intuition is telling you but there's nothing physically here in the 3d telling you but i'm seeing someone here page of wands that wants to 
give you it all. They want to be in this for the long term now. It's like they went out, they they left the connection they had with you, and now nothing's the same. And then we end here with the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? We have the Knight of Swords. The Fool Aries energy. And the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Pisces, um, you have your eye on something or someone else. There's someone else here in your energy outside of this person. I'm seeing you here being single, though, and very successful with the Six of Wands. And um, I feel like this person... They, you know, this is just going to eat them up because I'm looking into your future energy right now and I'm seeing someone else here that's showing up clearly that wants to build a home with you that is in it for the long run and I'm feeling like this other person is completely heartbroken, devastated, because they are watching you and um, <clears throat> you're in this in this energy here there's something about you being at home and being comfortable and feeling safe you might have been dealing with an Aries but I'm seeing um, this person could possibly hear just take a leap of faith and just jump towards you in the Knight of Swords energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This is someone not really thinking about what they're saying. It's someone who's unhappy watching you be happy. King and the Queen of Pentacles are here. Okay, so <clears throat> whoever this is, Pisces, they are um, walking away here at this point of the reading, walking away, sadly walking away, receiving karma. This may be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn and an Earth sign. But you can see here the moon is sad. Yeah, this person... Ew. They want to come in and rebuild with you. And I'm feeling like now as I went through the reading, I'm feeling like... Well, I def not feeling like I definitely see another energy here with you, Pisces. When this person is returning at the same time. Why is the Ace of Wands here? They walked away. They're wanting to come back around again. See, they, they want to give you it all. They want marriage. They want to be in this for the long term. But they, I feel like they may have burned their bridges with you. And that's going to be different for all of you because this is a general reading. See? The lovers. There's love here. Could be a Gemini with the lovers showing up. The Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This person who ignored your cup didn't realize what they had. They act bored, disappointed. They could have ghosted you. They're coming back around again. Um, 
Ask a question, Pisces, and we'll get an angel answer card for you. What does Pisces need to know? We have perfect timing and helpful people and abundance. That's what the messages that your angels have for you, your spirit guide. What does Pisces need to know? Okay. Nothing will come of this situation. So I feel like they they burn their bridge, Pisces, and I feel like you have healed from the pain that that this person caused you and looking back at what used to be I feel like you see that um, you don't want to redo a cycle again because you've come too far Pisces what does Pisces need to know that is void of course moon it's time to release negativity full moon in Scorpio And it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. And on the bottom of the deck, a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. And there is someone new coming into your life, Pisces. But see, when I'm looking at the past here, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. You do not have your foot in the water here. The water is your emotions. And you've stepped out of that when it comes to this person you're you've dumped your cups out you've realized you are part of the universe and that you're safe and you're okay on your own and so you have you're perfectly okay and you're meant to be where you know where you are right now at this time is where you're meant to be pisces there's a bigger picture. There's um, more than what we actually see and what we think we want at a certain time. And there's abundance. It's perfect timing right now for something to come into your life that's going to bring you a lot of abundance, Pisces. And I'm seeing helpful people around you and your energy. All right, so these are the messages spirits have for you today, Pisces. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture of what's happening in your life and in the tarot cards. And for not for all of you, you not all of you are going to hear from this person because I see someone here that is so intimidated and so afraid to approach you. The energy is so strong about this, about them just having the strength. But they are definitely receiving karma. They're seeing what they lost. All right, Pisces, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.